Hello you guys, hey welcome back to my YouTube channel Lovely Mona 3. Uh, in this video today I'm going to talk about how I got into plus size pageantry. And no, this is not going to be one of those videos where you just sit, where I sit here and you just look at me talk. No, there's going to be footage and video and pictures and all that fun stuff. So it's not going to be a boring video. I promise. But first, don't forget to subscribe and click that cute little bell button so you can be notified anytime I upload a video in the future. Like this. Alright, get straight into it. So, in June 2017, that's when I found out about plus size pageantry. So that year, I ended up traveling to two different graduations because my niece and my little brother are literally the same age. From my little brother's graduation, one of his elementary teachers was wearing a t-shirt that advertised a plus size pageant. And I was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> I geeked. I was like, what is that? <laughs> so she told me, she goes, oh yeah, it's a plus size pageant that I do and I, I competed in and so forth. And I was like, you competed in a pageant? Like, she's like, yeah. And she goes, well, just follow me on, um, find me on Facebook and I'll give you more information about it. So that was the end of that at that conversation. My little brother graduated from high school. I went back to Alabama, left food. I didn't really leave it alone because I was just like, oh, I really want to know all about this. So I kind of hounded her on Facebook. Sorry. Not sorry. Because she said too, but I don't think she was really serious, but she found out how serious I was. So anyway, so I found out about it. I prob I didn't really do research on it. I just said, oh, I like it. Let's do it. <laughs> Mind you, this is all in June of 2017. So I paid my deposit and that's when it got real. The pageant was in October. So I had four months. You see, I almost put three, right? <laughs> Sorry. I had four months to get together and do this pageant. And hindsight, I would never have done that because I had no, war no wardrobe. The last time I competed was really like a teenager or young young adult. So I didn't really know how to compete as an adult and as a plus size adult. So I had I didn't really under I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. But I'm so happy I did it though. So in this pageant system, they had three main categories that you competed in for the main title. So you had interview, which was a bulk of your score. You had evening gown and fashion wear fashion fun wear now let's start with evening gown because that was the most hardest to me well uh, evening gown I didn't really understand what type of gown to wear as an adult because typically when you're a teen it's puffy you know a line puffy right like you know those big ball gowns that make you walk like this hands out to the side <laughs> So I had to get out of that mind frame. I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos and that's literally how I learned <laughs> of what type of dress I wanted to do. So I was going gearing for like a mermaid um, dress with the floofy at the bottom, like basically like your mid calf kind of going out. Or I was going to go for a mermaid style dress where the, the floof I call it the floof, <laughs> the floof, <laughs> the floof went out kind of like at the mid thigh. So it was kind of like that. So I bought a green dress on Amazon and when I got it, it looked nothing like the picture. Or it kind of like the picture. I'll take that back. It looked kind of like the picture, but the structure of the dress was kind of flimsy. So I bought another dress to make up for that one. So I ended up getting two dresses. I, I know I know <laughs> so the first dress was lime green I'm fig I figure I'm chocolate I can pull out any any type of bright color right it was lime green it was still as a pretty decent dress it had no rhinestones on it so I call myself gonna figure out how to add rhinestones so I can cut a penny yeah so I can save money and then the second dress I ordered was gonna be like a backup, but I figured if I rhinestone the green dress, I might as well do something to the white dress too, so I put rhinestones on that dress too. And 
it looked like a wedding dress because technically it was a wedding dress until I put rhinestones on it then it looked sort of like a pageant dress but it fit it fitted me funny like it was it was tougher in the hips it had a low back so I couldn't wear any undergarments with it and with me being a plus size girl I got a belly <laughs> so that was not thought all the way through but still I rhinestone both dresses first time rhinestone anything in my life and so I packed them up and that was it and then for my fashion wear I figured another bright color because I'm chocolate milk chocolate to be exact but I didn't really care about what the garment was I only cared about the color so the color was like a sunshine yellow and it was like a onesie jumpsuit with this ruffle thing and it had wide bell bottoms like pants to where they looked like they came out of the 70s anyway but it I <laughs> it looked good but it didn't fit me well because I didn't get it altered right so that was a gimme on that one and so that was my fun fashion and my interview and I mean my interview was basically a dress I got from Ross I think it was either way it was like a straight up and down um, dress but anyway so I paid my money I'm feeling nervous so anyway I'm moving on the pageant was in Atlanta Georgia the second weekend of October in 2017 so it started on a Wednesday I got there on a Tuesday night because I want to get there early which hindsight that was a good idea too to get there the day before the registration so I can get settled and everything um, <laughs> however one of the the night I got in on that Tuesday night to Atlanta I got settled in the hotel then I saw one of the group chats that one of the girls needed to be a ride from the Greyhound and the Greyhound bus station was downtown in Atlanta in the most craziest areas it has like a lot of interesting individuals walking around down there and then her bus was supposed to get into like I think like one so I'm thinking, oh, I pick her up at one, it'd be okay. That bus was two hours late. It didn't get until three. <laughs> I think you can get back into the hotel until like 3, 30, 4 o'clock. And then I had to pick my mom up from the airport six that morning. So I made a bad mistake of being overly friendly and doing it. Now, do I regret picking her up? Yes and no. No, because she was a nice girl and I still like her to this day. Yes, because I did not know a lot about pageantry to where I would like I thought I was just gonna be able to make up the sleep <laughs> no <laughs> no I did not I was sleep deprived from that moment on because of that decision so be mindful ladies be mindful it was like once the pageants thing started going it was like non-stop and I didn't get a chance to really sleep and the one thing that I really did not like about this pageant system was that the off time that we got they kept slipping in stuff to do like extra rehearsals for the opening number so the times when I thought oh I'll get some sleep it was like no 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 so that was something I I didn't anticipate because we had an itinerary and yeah <laughs> so here's footage of day one registration Oh, side note, I was very excited. Oh, and I'm sorry about the blur. I didn't know how to work the camera at the time or figure out the autofocus. So a good chunk of the footage is from when I first got the camera I use now, and I didn't know how to do the autofocus. So, roll them. Okay, so we are at orientation this is day one of American Beauties Plus. I am so excited to be here. And look at that with Queen. See, I am Miss Alabama. And I'm so excited. And Miss Carolina. And this is Sierra. She is Miss North Carolina. Notice hers is M-I-S-S -S and mine is M-S. You see it? Mine is M-S. They have different divisions. I'll talk about that later. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty everybody is. Okay. So this 
dress came from Slaybu. Slay, no, fashion, fi fashion to figure. And my shoes? She didn't have any. I don't know where my shoes came from. I don't know where my shoes came from. I got these somewhere. Oh, shoe time off of Fairview in Montgomery, Alabama. So they're discount, but they look really great and they're comfy. So, so excited. We got the start, and the director is up there. I can. I, I don't know what is up with this. I don't know what is going on here. There we go. Yay! For steaming the pink. Uh, we're wearing the white. Hey uh, everybody! Everybody say green. The white. Yep. And those are the queen, the current queens are about to in their reign. How pretty they are! I love that top. There's Ayana. Oh, she is your current uh, New York. Yep. The only one representing the whole entire state. New York woman. Whoop whoop. Tell me the name again. Gloria. If I had my. Everybody. I'm like so happy to be here. So, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm like so nervous. I have not competed in a pageant in like 10 years. So I am like super happy and so excited. And I'm meeting new people. I know I keep looking this way because I'm trying to see if they're about to start because I don't want to be rude. And I got my makeup done. I did my own makeup. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. Oh, and this is, I'm competing in American Beauty's Plus. My goal is to get, win my division, which is the Miss Division, or Elite, of my pageant, and really work hard. I've been working super duper hard. If y'all have been following my uh, public favorite page for Al Leah Mona, Miss Alabama, American Beauty's Plus 2017, hopefully I'll be trading this crown in by the end of this weekend. Fingers crossed. The same. Today's October 11th, and it is a Wednesday, and it is great, and I am excited. Okay, there you go. Okay, so checking back. We are, we just got done with the first half of our orientation, and then now we're about to do the tribute for the Queens. I can't think of the name right now. Sorry. But we're about to do the tribute. That's the next thing um, that we're doing. Um, I think it's naming Lifetime Queen. I don't know yet. It's in the first year, but I'm so excited. I'm so happy I chose this pageant. What did you just do? <laughs> Look at this gorgeous woman right here. <laughs> About to start the other thing that we have to do um, to do the tributes and oh if you hear them say Angela Angela was the original uh, founder of the pageant um, she recently died earlier uh, in 2017 so this year Is it this year yeah was it this year I think March of this year or February of this year either way she died um, so it's very sad so there's a lot of remembrance and tributes this this year because of that and she was a very big piece part of the pageant so it's like man I wish I met her because I'm she sounds so awesome and so sweet so. so after day one I was feeling pumped excited still kind of nervous energy I remember going through day one it was registration we then we have this bonding thing with women it was like a guest speaker came in and you know it's like you know you are worth it you are wonderful and which was nice and then um that night we had like some type of award system now i understand now but i didn't understand it then and even to this day i don't understand it fully basically um queen of queens and lifetime queens were um announced during that pageant and or during that award ceremony and they did it the night of the first yeah they did the night of the first thing, I believe, that Wednesday night that year. And basically, it's whoever works with the pageant system longest 
you basically get promoted yeah basically the other practices I work with like Cinderella uh, Miss Washington teen or whatever I think is the first one I did they didn't have anything like that because they had staff to keep it going but this one was a little bit different and I found out that a lot of the plus size pageant systems are very similar to this what they do now me personally you would like a pageant system that much after you compete and win and so forth and I say compete and win so you can see everything that's part of it. Do, do do your due diligence and really, really research about the pageant system before you even attend to help. That's the best advice I can give you. Because you can see things behind the scenes because, you know, there's always fluff at the beginning, you know, when they first welcome you in. But it's what you see when they're not looking. I'm just talking in general, basically, of any pageant system because I've seen a lot. Yeah, and that's like the realest advice I can give you guys. But moving on. So, day two. Hello everyone. Hey, it's Leah Mona. I am on day two of American Beauties Plus. I am still super duper excited to be here. <laughs> but granted, it's day two, so the excitement's still on there. Like, yes, <laughs> right? Okay, and right now I'm eating breakfast at the hotel. And my mama. Say hi, mama. Hello. <laughs> vlogging this experience. Oh, we got here earlier. Hey. Hey. So to be on her page. Uh-huh. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> We're about to get ready for our photo. We got matching outfits. <laughs> take the picture. We're about to take the picture. I'm so excited. Team Blue, Team Blue. <laughs> and there's Mr. Aki. I hope I said it right, Aki. So, day two, my excitement was still like, oh yeah, I'm excited. Look at all these beautiful ladies. They got crowns and tears just like me. And they like pageantry just like me. And I felt like, finally, my people, you know? Um, so we had, so we had, I had breakfast, breakfast with my mom. We had the t-shirt picture. We had rehearsals. And that was the first rehearsal we started to do the opening number. The, the whole theme of the pageant that year was masquerade or something with mask or Mardi Gras-ish or you know Louisiana-ish that whole realm of everything and so that was fun and you guys do this now yeah, let's just all do this mm -hmm. okay. okay so when you pivot you just pick up your right foot step on it left foot comes out and I want you guys to make sassy I know you're sassy <laughs> so you're going to look over your shoulder and you're going to walk back okay let me try it this way okay all right so and then you walk. Cool? You want to try? Okay. You're on the right side. Walk in front of this group here. So if you're on the left, this group walks behind. Does that make sense? Yeah. No matter if you're on the front or the back row. Cool? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to try it again and then we'll put music on. All right. So you're my first. Yeah, just come on. Just come on. And don't forget when you come on, you guys. Look at the other way the judges. You can start snapping. And also, guys, one quick thing. Don't talk backstage. You can hear it outside. That is a curtain, it's not a wall. It is not a sound curtain. Like, just because you're behind that curtain does not mean you cannot hear you and everything that you say. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, so just remember, y'all, just remember, it's switch, pivot, switch, pivot. Say it with me. Switch, pivot, switch, pivot. The whole theme of the pageant that year was 
masquerade or something with mask or Mardi Gras-ish or, you know, Louisiana-ish, that whole realm of everything. And so that was fun. And <laughs> you guys do this. Now let's just all do this. Cool? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So when you pivot, you just pick up your right foot, step on it, left foot comes out. And I want you guys to make it sassy. And I'm going to go sassy. <laughs> so you're going to look over your shoulder and then you're going to walk back. Okay? Let me try it this way. Okay. All right? So. And then you walk. Cool? You want to try it? Okay. You're on the right side. Walk in front of this group here. So if you're on the left, this group walks behind. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. No matter if you're on the front or the back. Cool. Yeah. Okay, okay. so we're going to try it again. Alright. You remember, yeah, just one more. And don't forget when you come on, guys, you can play the judges. You can start snapping if you want to walk it off. And also, guys, when we say, don't go off backstage. You can hear it out shot. That is, a curtain is not a wall. It is not a single curtain. Like, just because you're behind a curtain does not mean we cannot hear you and everything that you say. Yes. Yes. So, ladies, as soon as my last person here, Oh, yeah, no, so just remember, y'all, just remember, it's switch, pivot, switch, pivot. Say it with me. Switch, pivot, switch, pivot. Okay. So. Also, that night they had something that I have not seen either. So they had this thing called the prevailing queens. Prevailing queens is when, say you win your national title, right? You reign for a year. The year you come back, you can do like, it's like the equivalent to like all-star pageant right and that year was the first year that they did this so it was like the all-stars came and duped it out and you had a chance to see kind of what to expect on the stage because mind you i haven't done pageantry at this point until june 2017 i didn't do it for a whole 10 years probably 12 years really 12 years to be honest honest like a pageant pageant and so it gave me a chance to kind of, okay, how do you walk? Because I didn't know. <laughs> and then also we had walking practice too. During that day that helped a little bit. It just taught me where to walk to the points. Um, yeah, so that was that was helpful. Wonderful. So we're here to watch the girls bring it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> really great. So I hope you guys can see me. This Mr. Abby, he's our official photographer. So when it starts, I can't record or take pictures. But just let you know, this is what's going on, and it's one of the events. So if you're interested in doing American Beauty Plus in the future, this is the one thing you gotta attend to. They're gonna they just started this this year, but they're gonna continue on as long as it's successful. And I think it's gonna be successful. So be prepared to wear a lot of dresses and yeah fun yay everybody everybody yay. oh in case you see how they're wearing blue crowns right there <laughs> uh, and i'm wearing red it's because they're part of american beauty's national pageant so it's two pageants in one weekend okay so i'm going to cut this video right here and so this is going to be part one I hope you guys enjoyed part one. The next video is going to be part two where I'm going to go over day three and four. Yeah, three and four because I just did one and two. So make sure you thumbs up this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that little bell button so you can get notifications or any future videos that I upload. And ta-ta!